diapers are a huge expense on a lot of parents. Sometimes if the parents have choices to make in buying diapers or maybe paying their electric bill or providing food for their families, they may let that diaper change go a little longer or not change it at all. My bills run about almost two grand a month. Lisa, Amy, and Darlene, they're the three major ladies at the APPCA. They have been helping me with a lot of stuff. They have helped with the lights. They have helped with the diapers. This is what keeps me going. What are you doing, kid? We're very grateful for the Office of Community down. Services for this new funding to provide diapers on a monthly basis. We're able to incorporate that into our whole family pilot, which is basically wraparound services. This provides a very tailored and customized approach to the family and enrolling them in services that they need. It may be education for the younger children, sometimes education for the adults. It may, they may have mental health issues, health issues, whatever, we try to connect them with the resources that they may need. Our service area covers about 745 square miles. It's very rural. There is no access to public transportation. So it's very limited on where you may be able to get to. Today, we're going to the food bank and we use that to also distribute our diapers since the families are already coming to the food bank to pick up their food. And that is just one less trip that they have to get out each month to help them preserve their gas. Is everything been going okay? That's good. We want to give them a hand up, not a hand out. And we call them participants because we do expect them to participate, whether it be working, going to school, attending financial counseling or housing counseling, whatever those needs may be. It's come close, not having the money to buy diapers or pull-ups. It's overwhelming at times, honestly. Not having diapers in the home can affect the family in various ways. Health-wise, the children may become sicker or have to see the doctor more often if they have issues related to not having their diapers changed. I'm handing out information about our free diaper program through APCA. We were very blessed to get the buy-in of some of the partners within our communities to help us leverage these federal funds to provide diapers not only to the folks within our whole family approach, but also to grandparents, disabled people, possibly great-grandparents or caregivers that may not fit the criteria for our whole family program. The Office of Community Services has supported all of the community action programs within Virginia greatly and they provide us with a lot of technical assistance and training to make sure that we're one of the most up-to-date states in the nation. <laughs>